So you want to become a penguin, but you like wearing the color blue, and everybody knows that penguins can only wear the color white and black. Well, looks like you have to make some wardrobe changes. Hey guys, I'm Metis by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this cool um, circular text spinning thing that you see on the screen right here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and drag a box over top of everything in our scene and just hit delete. We don't even need the, the camera right now. I'm going, to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A, and we're going to search for a curve circle i'm gonna put that bad boy right in there and after that we can go ahead and hit shift a and search for a text object and now we're gonna, i'm gonna go ahead and type what i want here so i'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode so i can change what the text says hit backspace a couple times and i'm just gonna type in tutorial oh my gosh that's so creative and i'm gonna go ahead and hit tab again to go back out of edit mode i'm gonna go to the text tab here and then scroll on up to uh this where i see this section that says font his little folder um, that's going to open up my folder, my all my folders on my on my PC. And I'm going to go ahead and search for a font that I want to use just real quick, so it's not the um, the default font. We're going to pick up something super basic, like uh, 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 this. Sure, nice. Um, just so you guys know how to change the the font. There we go. Um, now the next thing and the last thing we have to do is go ahead and select the curve, and then go to the modifiers tab, hit add modifier, and then hit curve or sorry i'm on, on the text not on the curve my mistake and then go ahead and hit on the text go ahead and hit add, add modifier and then change this to curve and then just select the curve object which is the bezier curve and boom you can instantly see we have this nice this nice little uh, text on the curve uh, uh, uh thing now you're gonna want to scale this one down because if it's too big it'll start looking a little strange like this i mean that looks you know that's fine if you like it like that but i'm gonna go ahead and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scale it down just like that you can also go ahead and add more words so tutorials every week exclamation point nice so now you can see that'll wrap around it looks really cool and the even cooler thing is if you hit g and an x you can go ahead and move this around it and it'll just kind of instantly like scroll around which is very very neat so let's go ahead and select both of these hit rx90 on our keyboard and what we're gonna do here and what we're gonna do here is um hit left click to confirm that movement and now we can hit one on our numpad to go to the front facing view hit shift a search for our camera Hit G, Y to move that bad boy backwards, and hit 0 to go into the camera's view. Now you can see exactly what we have here. I'm going to hit G and double tap Z to move this backwards a little bit more just so we, have, we can see a little bit easier. And now you can see we have the ability to animate this super, super easily, which is what we'll do very quickly. Let's go ahead and go to the main tab here. Sorry, the second tab here. And change the frame rate from 24 to 60. And then I'm going to go ahead and change my start frame to 0. And then go to 0 in my timeline. Hit I, location. And then on frame, let's say maybe 100, I'll hit G, X, and you can see I'll move this bad boy like over here, like that. Hit I, location, and then um, we'll probably go ahead and go to maybe frame 150, and then just so it has a nice little slow to stop kind of thing. I don't want to I don't want to loop it and go all the way around because you guys get the idea. Well, I'll just go ahead and move it on over slightly so it kind of kind of slows down to a stop like that, which looks nice. And then we'll go ahead and put this back on frame the end on frame 150 my mistake so nice when we play this you can see when we play this um you can see it does like this so it goes around in a circle which looks really cool and uh like i said it looks it just looks really really awesome i like this effect a lot i think it looks really really cool um and i think it has a lot of different uh uses you can use this in so many things um you don't even have to animate it, really you can just leave it like at the top like this just like that and have that be the entire thing it looks awesome i think it looks so so cool but yeah so ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye